Welcome back on our Monday morning here on News Night at Nine. It's time for our weekly segment, Can You Relate? Today we're talking with Preparedness Program Manager Linda Medford from the Red Cross of Oklahoma, specifically about house fire safety. Thanks for joining us this morning, Linda. Absolutely. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. And you know, some serious numbers coming out. You guys are finding just one week into the new year and Oklahoma already on pace to have more house fires than in 2021. How do you know that so soon? What's happening here in Oklahoma? Well, um, the very first week of January, we had 50 home fires. That was huge. Um, compared to last year, that puts us right on target to have like a 60% increase in home fires this year. So what are the projections for this year? And maybe what are just some good tips for people watching? Good reminders. Sometimes we just, you know, blow through some of those good tips, but we really need to hear them over and over again. Yes, yes, yes. That, so we're right now we're in that winter weather season still. So everybody's pulling out the space heaters, the candles. They're, some of them are using their um, kitchen ovens to keep the house warm. And so there's a lot of safety issues here we need to think about. Um, first of all, we want to make sure we keep an eye on what we fry. We don't go off and leave anything unattended on the kitchen stove. Um, we also want to make sure that we don't uh, put anything within three feet of a space heater, a fireplace, or candles, or anything of that nature. So three feet from the heat is a good rule to remember. And then um, e extension cords. We do not want to plug large appliances into extension cords. They're not made to operate that way, and eventually they're going to melt and overheat and catch fire. So um, the one really, really important thing we want to do is try to have at least one smoke alarm in your home. Um, be sure and check the batteries, test them twice a year and make sure they're still operating properly. And also pop that off the wall or off the ceiling and look on the back of it. It has a manufacture date on the back side of it. And most smoke alarms you'll see if they're over 10 years old, they need to be replaced. The, the elements in them can wear out over time. So after about 10 years, they need to be replaced. So that's a good thing to remember. Mm -hmm. And then always keep the matches and the lighters locked away out of children's reach. Um, try not to smoke in bed at all. That's very dangerous. Um, those are all really, really good things to remember. But make a plan. Have a plan. Make sure everyone in your household knows what the plan is. If you have a home fire in the middle of the night, how are you going to get out of the house? Make sure the children know, you know, are they going to go out the front door? Are they going to go out the back door, the window? What's the plan? And make sure you have a place outside to meet mm -hmm. and make sure everyone in the home knows to go and meet at that place and stay there. Stay there and wait until the fire department gets there or another adult that can help you call 911 or whatever. But that's where you're going to meet and make sure everyone in the household knows, knows that. Knows the plan, yeah. Yes, um, and and you only you only ahead. have two you only have two you only have two minutes to get out of the house when a when a fire starts because smoke can overcome you that quickly so you want to get low and go as quick as possible and just get out. These are great tips, Linda. Where can folks go online to get uh, more details or maybe kind of a list of uh, what what to do and how to make a plan? Yes, uh, www.redcross.org. Linda, we appreciate it, and uh, I just, I love that, get low and go. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start thinking about two minutes, it's, you know, 120 seconds, and when you have children in the house, and, Panic. and if there's smoke filling the mm -hmm. house, and really, it's, it's good reminders even to do those fire drills, so great, great reminders today. Linda, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, and uh, we uh, want to mention you can go to the Red Cross website. We'll link that to our website, news9.com. Keep an eye on what you fry. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you just can't run off and leave something on the skillet for a second to go get the door or Absolutely anything like that. Not. It's just, it might it might get you. Like so many folks just trying to stay warm right, right now. Mm -hmm. that's and that's what we always talk about is so many folks will get space heaters this time of year to heat their home, but they haven't really been doing that throughout the rest of the year. And especially when we get these really cold mornings and you've got to use those space heaters properly. Make sure there's plenty of space between them and items in your home and make sure you take that plug in and you plug it directly into the wall, not to a power strip because that can cause big problems as well.